Hi, Riley families. Today, we're going to learn how to log into our Chromebooks, and then we're going to log into a home virtual learning platform called Seesaw. Let's log into our Chromebooks first. You guys got your student Chromebooks from Chromebook Pickup. And now we need to know how to get into this Chromebook right here. So let me show you how to get into it. You're going to open it up. You're going to power it on. You're going to get a screen that pops up that looks just like this picture right here. You're going to click Next. And then you're going to get a screen that looks just like this. It's the Greenville County School login page. So you've got a paper with your child's login information from the Chromebook pickup. You're going to type in the username at the top. It's the same username that they gave you right here on your paper. And then you're going to type in their password. Now, we did not give you your password. We gave you a birthday example. Um, part of the problem in this birthday example is it has slashes. You are not putting those slashes into that password. You're going to handle the password in this format right here. Two-digit month, two-digit day, two-digit year. For example, if your child's birthday is August 15th, 2003, you're going to do 081503. No slashes or hyphens. And that will get you into your Chromebook. You're going to click on the Chrome browser from there. And then you're going to get logged into Seesaw. Now, that's a separate sign up that came a little later home with you in paper form on how to log into your child's home learning code. So let's find Seesaw. We can just Google Seesaw and it will pop right up. And you're going to click on the Seesaw. You're going to click log in and you're going to find I'm a student. It's very important that you only do the student part so the student can use it to turn in work. So I'm a student. You're, there's various ways to sign in. The easiest way to sign in is going to be the text code, but you are more than welcome to try the other ways if that works for you. You'll have instructions on your sheet if you want to try a different way to log in. I'm using the text code. It's right down here on my sheet of paper, and I'm going to hit go. And here I am. I am in my unique learning portal. So only your child will see their work posted and only your child's teacher will see what they post. So if your child uploads something, it's not going to the whole class. It's private. It's staying with the teacher. If the teacher uploads something for your child, it's private for your child. So here is our home learning page. You can get links to Google Meets here. You can get your um, choice board activities for your virtual learning here. And the cool thing about Seesaw that we like for early learners is that after they do their choice board for the day, they can post their favorite activity to get credit for e-learning for the day. So they're going to click add, they're going to click photo, and they're going to hold up their work. I did the choice board activity of writing my name. My parent wrote in highlighter and I traced over my name. Now I'm going to take a photo. At the bottom is a photo icon you can click or to the side you can click it. You're going to take a picture, you're going to hit check, and you're going to turn that work in. And guess what? It says waiting for teacher approval. So your teacher will come in and approve it and it will be all a part of your e-learning credit for the day. So let your child watch you do this a few times and I bet couple of months in, once you log your child in, they will be self-sufficient on Seesaw. Happy e-learning!